Alrighty, so if you watched the other video on how to R&R &R this, pull it out and put a new one in, and you still wanted to learn how to pull it apart and figure out what's wrong with it, or maybe even fix it. Sometimes these are simple fixes with brushes and magnets and such, uh, armature getting stuff on it, and that's what we're hoping for. A little bit of diesel fuel or oil got in between the armature and the magnets, and it's causing a draw on amperage and uh, causing this thing to move extremely slow. So uh, we're going to start off by pulling the back of this off. Um, so what you want to do is these two 10 millimeter bolts here and on the back side of the starter we are going to have a 17 millimeter nut here. So um, we can pull that off and the two of those off. Here's where your senses come in. Pay attention. Look. See if there's anything burnt. Look. See if there's any gunk built up and smell. Especially when you get this, uh, the armature coming out. Smell and see if anything smells burnt. And those are telltale signs. You'll smell it right away. Just put your nose up there about two, three inches away and uh, again telltale signs all your senses so let's go ahead and pull this nut off okay i love the how the video works let's go ahead and pull these two 10 millimeters off just bam bam looks so quick okay and so now we got those two off do not pull these phillips yet those there are going to be probably holding the brushes and don't pull these phillips those are the what holds the magnets um, at this point i already smell burnt wire as soon as i pulled these two out i can already smell what smells to be burnt wire so I, I'm positive there's an issue with that armature and it's putting a load on this starter and this is the reason it was cranking slow and this is the reason I always thought that there was an issue with a draining of these batteries which eventually there was it burnt out the alternator and we had to replace it also let me give you a little tip here if you're not sure if your starters bad or if the batteries are bad and you're cranking it and it doesn't want to start it's cranking slow and you think that your batteries are up to charge but you're not sure and giving it a jump just doesn't seem to happen it takes forever to jump the vehicle with another car there's a trick to that turn your headlights on while you crank it this is a telltale sign turn your headlights on while you crank the engine if the headlights are on and you're cranking the engine while cranking if the headlights dim you have an issue with your battery if the headlights do not dim while you're cranking then the issue is the starter the starter wire the starter solenoid something binding up so again if your headlights dim get get a jump get your uh, charge your batteries if the headlight does not dim then ignore those batteries there's nothing wrong with them because if those headlights do not dim while applying amperage to this starter which takes a lot there's plenty of juice in the battery to start the vehicle the issue is not a low battery so i hope that helps you out so okay let's go ahead and pull uh this armature apart it should just yank right out a little tough but it should come right out okay so she just pulled right out now this is going to be the positive and the body to this will be the ground. And so now let's go ahead and check this. Um, the way to check it is just go to a battery with a pair of jumper cables, ground it, and hit it with positive. In this case, um, I don't have a pair of jumper cables laying around. I got a pair of vice grips there only because I have a starter switch. It's just two wires. You push the button and it allows current to go through. It'll work the same as a pair of jumper cables. So I'm just gonna clamp it to the vice grips and I'm gonna clamp it to the positive side and then I can just ground out the starter, just like that. And when I apply juice, now if this is jumper cables, just touch them to it from here to there. So I don't have a very good ground. I'll hold it with my knee. It's not spinning, but I can smell something burning. So it is seized up inside of here. So that's how you tell. Now, if this starts spinning, then this is not your issue. If it spins and spins fast, it's not your issue. The issue is going to be in the Bendix, the part that pops out, the other side of the starter. In my case, the problem is in this starter. So let's check the armature on this thing. So all I'm going to do is just pull the armature out. And look at that. There is no force at all holding that in there. I can pull it out so easily. Now, these are magnets. That should be holding that so tight that I, I should have to yank on it to get it out. So that tells me there's something wrong there. I look down inside there, I can see the brushes. There is so much buildup on those brushes. And just as I had suspected, there's oil and grease and such down inside there. And these, this is gonna be the issue. Um, this should be extremely clean. This is actually copper and it doesn't even look like it. So to start off, we're gonna clean this all up and we're gonna pull the back of this. Now you can go ahead and pull those Phillips screwdrivers and get the back of this pulled off. 
and look at that lo and behold exactly what I thought look at all that grease now you're wondering how does grease get in there it's not necessarily grease it's oil diesel fuel probably and dirt and that's what makes it appear to look like grease amazing that this thing was even still working amazing so I, hopefully it'll still work I have I have faith that it will but this all needs cleaned up none of this needs to be around here we should be seeing shiny colors of copper and silver right now and we don't so here is where you know how I love that brake clean because it dries quick here's where we're gonna use some brake cleaner and we're gonna clean this all up the best we can um, if I had some chem dip I'd be dipping that in there but I don't and again these magnets should have held that on there but it didn't so once we get this all cleaned up and if it still doesn't hold it on there I know that we're gonna have an issue and we need to get another uh, starter but it's all about saving money that didn't do no good my hand had grease on it so all right and earlier I said uh, let's pull these screwdrivers I think you understood so okay let's get this all cleaned up right now we're gonna get a wire brush we're gonna get some uh, maybe even a little bit of gasoline to clean it uh, keep it away from our fire of course and uh, our brake clean and we'll lay it all down on a rag on the floor and just just do a good job cleaning and then we'll get back to the video okay so you see my other videos you've seen that I had that extra gas out of a fuel pump uh, change that I did it was some old gas and I saved it so I'm gonna use that to clean my starter I just I just want to say that um, if, if I handed you this starter like this or even together and, and told you pull those two bolts those two bolts and slide this out and would you clean all this for me and I'll give you 80 bucks you bet your butt you would so this video just like all my videos are all about saving money um, again I have a good idea that this is gonna work uh, it just needs a good cleaning so and if you look these starters I'm sure go from 90 to 150 dollars so you're gonna save that money so don't stop if you watch the other video and you are an artist before you take it back take a moment and pull it apart and see if you can save yourself a few bucks just clean it up so okay I just wanted to say that let me go get this in the old gas and let's get this cleaned up and then we'll use our brake clean afterwards okay so that armature cleaned up pretty good and that only took me a couple of minutes I'm probably gonna hit it one more time um, but I wanted to show you right here. See, you couldn't even tell that that was copper and steel before. And uh, that's enough right there not to make it work. So now I've got a piece of uh, 180 grit sandpaper here we used from a brake job a while back. If you watched my how-to video, it's the same piece. It's all about saving money. So now I'm going to scratch this just a little bit. Um, what I don't want to do is go this direction. I want to keep the grooves the same, so I'm going to go this direction. I'll just grab it like a cone and just wiggle it around back and forth and try to get a little bit cleaner just rough it up a little bit okay that just took like three seconds scratched it a little bit hit it with some more brake clean now we'll let it dry armature is good to go and there's a lot of pits and and such inside there but th i have no doubt that this is this part here is not going to be an issue it's going to work so let's get that bottom part cleaned up and let's get the uh the magnets and the brushes cleaned up Okay, so that brake clean works really good. I, I see I got a little bit more right down in there I'll hit with the with the brake clean, but the brushes and everything looks good. The back comb came out looking new. And uh, as far as the Bendix goes at this point, I believe it's just cosmetic, but we're here, right? Let's go ahead and clean it too. Okay, so we got all of our parts pretty much cleaned up. Just a few spots, but uh, starting to look like a new starter. And that's kind of what they do when you send them in and get them remanufactured if there if the issue is just uh, cleansiness so uh, we got all the grease and such out of it we can put it back together we're gonna start off with the case itself we're gonna bring in the armature and then we'll pop the brushes in and line up the back so let's get started there let's put the armature in okay so now we got it all cleaned up it all looks great here it almost looks new and now we're gonna slide the armature back in we're gonna stand it up on its end like this and slide the brushes down on top because you'll see you'll have to push the brushes in one at a time and I can't do it with one hand so uh, so simply I'm just gonna pull it over top of it and slide those brushes in and slide this down okay so I slid the brushes in they're back around the copper um, by the way I tore a little piece of sandpaper and I cleaned the front part of the brushes that hits the copper side of the windings on the armature so uh, we got that down now we can put our cap back on so let's put that on with our two Phillips screws Okay, because we used brake clean on this bearing um, and it was pretty running pretty dry, I put a little grease in there and then a little bit in the cap for future use there. 
So now we'll put the cap on with the two Phillips screws and make sure that this side here is facing the cable, of course, otherwise you'll have a hard time getting that on. Okay, so now as long as you kept the brushes around that copper windings of the armature, then the cap will go right on and you can always turn uh, the armature just a little bit to line up your two screws. So, and at this point, don't let this slide back out because it can come back out now and you'll have to take this cap back off again in order to line up those brushes so they go around the armature. And I think you understand that. So now we can go ahead and put this back into the nose cone. So let's get that on there and let's run our two 10 millimeter bolts back in. Okay, before I do that, I wanted to make sure I brought up this gasket. I'm about to put it back in. If you've seen that fall out while you were cleaning, as I did, and I went ahead and cleaned it up, it sits right inside that hole there. It's just a, a cushion gasket where uh, the, the gears on the armature slides in. So you can just set that back inside that hole. Okay, so if you're not sure, there's only two ways that can go in because both bolts are that direction. But if you're not sure, then uh, where the solenoid uh, gets its spark, that small 8 millimeter, and then your 15 that you took off under the truck, if those are pointing up now, and they were pointing down, then your vent tube will be up on the solenoid. That's the straight, the correct direction. And uh, where you connected that 17 millimeter here will be the opposite of where the eight millimeter was because remember those two are the ones that face down that we hook up to the truck so and if not you can go back uh, to the beginning of the video and see how it is uh, connected on there so that's it we've got a complete rebuilt starter um, other than where the brake cleaner ate the paint a little bit uh, but it looks good looks clean everything on the inside was clean so let's put it together and see if we can get this thing fired up I didn't show you, but when I was trying to start it earlier, it would just drag or click, click, like we talked about um, that when uh, we turned on the headlights to see if it was a starter issue or if it was a battery issue. So sorry this video is so long, but I wanted to put it in detail for you. So let's go ahead and get up under the truck and get this thing put back in the opposite way we put it on. Okay, so we're going to poke it in backwards just like we pulled it out between the jack shaft, if it's four wheel drive and uh, the frame. So poke it in backwards, then slide it into the, slide the nose cone into the bell housing, and let's put those three bolts on. Okay, so we got those three bolts in. Now, what I like to do is I like to start the first two, thread them in finger tight, and then I put the top one in, and that way it goes in a lot easier with your finger, and you're only cranking down hard just for a couple turns. So those are all snugged up. Let's get our uh, 15 millimeter nut back on with our hot wire and our solenoid wire. Okay, so both those wires are on. Now let's get to the top and put our battery terminal back on. Alrighty, so we got our terminals back on and we got the starter in there. Let's give it a shot and see if she's gonna crank. Nice. That's it, we're good to go. So I hope this video helped you out. Uh, please leave a comment, please subscribe. Click like if you like it. And you can click on my uh, name underneath this video for any other how-to videos. Thanks a lot. Enjoy.